We are in the shed getting ready. I, I told I told Jughead, I said, Jughead, we we don't know what we have from my NASCAR career. So we're gonna open up all my boxes that have my NASCAR fire suits and helmets in. You, will you help me? Yeah, I have a kid. Right. So we're gonna move up. Now listen, it, it, we're not making a movie, we're not acting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> move this out of the way. I gotta tell you something. This, well first of all, a lot of people don't know this. We need to go through these hoods real quick. So, um, you know how they say, uh, you never know what you have? These hoods, these hoods are pretty incredible. When you fans voted me into the All-Star race, 2007 maybe? So anyway, this was the hood off that car. It said, vote for Kenny. So that was uh, when I drove for Furniture Row. Then, this is the very last hood that I ever ran in my, look, Iowa 2015. This was Joe Gibbs racing. And they said, save for Kenny Wallace. And now you can tell that this hood's uh, more up to date because it's light, very light. Look, look at this. Here's the Joe Gibbs logo. They were very nice. I want to thank Joe Gibbs for that and Toyota. They, this, this was the hood on the phone. Then, when I made my 500th Xfinity start, uh, American F all, this was the hood. And then, when this whole social media deal started back in 2009, you fans were awesome. You paid to be on the hood and all over my race car. So this, this was the fan car, and we ran this car in Montreal, Canada. And uh, I remember I was running like sixth or seventh up top. There was a 180 degree turn. That's Circuit Jacques Villeneuve. And uh, got into a, a fender bender, but I think we finished like, I don't know, 12, 17th. But anyway, look at how many names are on here. This is insane. We had thousands and thousands of names. And at the time we had to where you could go to the, uh, you could find your name. This is a prized possession. I'm racing dirt, 1980. This is 1986 is my, the nose off my very first race car. But I go to, I go to Terre Haute to run dirt. And this guy gets a hold of me on social media and he goes, hey Herm, he says, I believe I have the nose off your very first ASA car, 1986, Jughead. Holy cow. So, uh, I, obviously, I got in a wreck. Um, but th this means a lot to me. These, D these This tells you how long Schoenfeld's been with me and clutches and Dixie Anna. That guy used to let me get stuff and pay him later, Pro Shocks. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't keep a lot of stuff. Uh, Kim told me to tell you all, no, you can't have any of this stuff. <laughs> but uh, the helmets are over there. You got a razor blade? Oh, yeah. Here, grab that. Four helmets, four pairs of shoes. Put that down there. I got to get that razor blade real quick. Oh, uh, so let's see. This ought to be good stuff. This is now, I, now we can't we can't destroy it all because we got to put it back in. It's she got it boxed up so the mice won't get in it. <laughs> now in North Carolina, we had a beautiful fan club office and all this stuff was on display. But I'll warn you, there's some there could be close to 70, 70 fire suits. Oh my gosh, this is uh. This is, look how good of a job she did. This is incredible. So, oh my God, this is big. My very last NASCAR win, 2001 Xfinity Series in Rockingham. That's the helmet. Okay, I see what she did. So, these were top tens, they gave you stickers. You put them all over the helmet. That was pretty cool. There it is. 
One win, two poles, seven top tens, 13. Look at that. That's the helmet. Wow, look how rusted up it is. That's from sweat and all that. You know, I'm not even going to tempt. But that's the real helmet. So this is the, my very last win helmet. Ain't, wouldn't, wouldn't you know it? It's, um, it's the very first helmet. But that's pretty cool. I think they should do that again. The NASCAR Bush Series, if you, if, you, if you finished the top 10, they gave you a decal. So I had a good time. There's times I might have been running 11th or 12th in a race. <laughs> I'm going spin to that, spin that guy out because I want that decal. <laughs> it's the little things. Wow, look at that. That's when Rusty won. My brother Rusty won the 1989. He was the Winston Cup champion, so that... That's just a very rare, it's just a hat. Now this, this is all my wife, Kim. Kim saves all this stuff. But she saved everything. She didn't make me sign my gloves. Look at this. Gloves and shoes. This is nuts. Oh my God, this is epic. So I was in the 50th running of the Daytona 500. And look at this. These are nice gloves, but check this out. So these are these are my uh. So when I ran the Daytona 500, I I got all new stuff, right? So um, you know, you go to Daytona, you got new gloves, new everything. So these were my these were my gloves, and my shoes. This was epic because uh, Furniture Row they had fired me because they thought, you know, they could get a better driver. Well, they went through Sterling Marlin, they went through Scott Wimmer, and they went through Joe Nemechek. Well, I, I got a nice phone call back from them, and they said, hey, we messed up. You're a good driver. <laughs> to prove you're a good driver, we want to field two cars in the Daytona 500. But here's the deal. Kenny, if you make the Daytona 500, and Joe Nemechek does not, he gets to get in your ride. I said, all right. <laughs> I run like fourth in the twin. Well, it's because we changed motors. We had a uh, we had a Hendrick motor in the car. I was right up there. I ended up fifth. Started like twelfth or something, but uh, blew a motor early in the race. Look at that. I took time. I wrote all that on there. You know what's crazy is, is these shoes only got these shoes, Jughead. They only got. Qualif practice, practice qualifying in the twin and then the Daytona 500. So they all, all this stuff still oh, looks brand new, huh? They brand new. I ought to wear them. <laughs> I ought to wear them right now. Yeah. Stuff even smells good. <laughs> That's because Kim put it all. You know what? I don't have it in my heart to take every bit of this stuff out. You know what I mean? I can't take it all out. It's, it's packed away too much. But. That is some real, there's some really good stuff in here. So, oh, this is big. Red dog helmet. The, my real red dog helmet. Hel you know, you got the helmet, the uh, radio hookup and all that. That baby right there won. This, this helmet won, won three races, I think. Three Xfinity races. Oh, my God. I keep looking at finding all this stuff. So when I ran the Montreal car, we did finish 17th. That's after that wreck we talked about, the number 28 car. And my shoes, Montreal fan car. It's some really good stuff. It's pretty incredible, actually. Oh, look, some, for my 800th NASCAR start, I believe it was at Richmond. Somebody gave me that. You know, my career's over and done with, but I tell you what, we finished with 905 NASCAR starts. So here's the way it goes. 544 Xfinity starts, 340, 50 cup starts and like 11 trucks, something like that. But, but if you count, if you just count to 905, that's a lot of races. Oh yeah. And miles. That don't count my ASA racing, all the dirt races. Look at this, love this helmet. 
I had a tough time getting used to this helmet because this is when NASCAR required you to put on a, uh, this helmet here is in better shape. Look here, I'll show you. So NASCAR wanted you to have this, uh, to keep fire from coming up in here. But I did like this one because it, it could breathe, but sometimes those things, you know, you run a 300 mile race and this thing, this one here, you know, now they kind of tuck them into their fire suit, but NASCAR made that rule. And then one thing I really liked about this is uh, we'd start out those NASCAR races, like say six o'clock and the sun's going down, sunbeam. And I, I, I can already tell I took my tear off off, but I had it barely shaded. I would reach up here, you know, you start out in the day, the sun in your face. And then when the sun would go down, it'd be nighttime. I'd take a tear off off and then I could see clear. That's a pretty cool helmet. Just, I, I think I told the guy just, yeah, a family farmers when I drove for the farmers. And uh, that's awesome. Man, there's some good stuff. Oh, look at this. This is huge. Jimmy Johnson, Kenny, three times, bro. This is when he won three championships. That's Jimmy Johnson, Rick Hendrick, and Chad Knauss. You don't think that hat's big? Oh, yeah. I wonder what they'd pay for that damn thing. Oh, five, pretty good penny, huh? If, if, if we go broke, I wonder if we, we should talk to Kim. <laughs> Kenny, three times broke. Jimmy Johnson, Rick Hendrick, Chad Knauss. I remember, I think I got my butt in trouble with uh, Fox Sports because we were doing the post race. I'm like, hey, sign, sign this hat. They said, no more doing that. I'm like, come, come on, Manny, my friend. <laughs> but when you're, when you're, when you're like Charlie Marlowe and you're professional, you're not allowed to ask athletes for anything. I'm like, look, I'm not normal. These are my friends, and I race them. Sign my hat. <laughs> Good stuff. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, would you? And then, uh. Just another nice, that's a nice helmet. Oh, there's so much good stuff in here, but we got to move on. We got to move on. Those are some highlights. That hat's a big deal. Oh, yeah. Look here, we're going to put it in here real nice. If anybody wants to buy that, I'll sell that for $10,000. <laughs> hey, we need tire money for the yeah, car, right. baby. <laughs> Don't forget but, but, that. But, but you know what's crazy about that hat? He, he won seven championships. Yep. Oh, Hey, hold on, hold on. Check this out. This is badass. It's even West Coast right now. Hold on. West Coast, baby. Now that's epic. That's when our brother Rusty Wallace won the championship at Atlanta. It don't get any better than that. And look, it's so old that everything's yellowed. I'll sell this for $6,800. <laughs> oh, my wife. She'd be having enough. Kim's down in the house. She'll say, you will not sell any of my stuff. I'm like, I wore it. It don't matter, Mr. Wallace. Wow. Good stuff. All right. Do you want to go and put that back up? Oh, it's hard on the knees. You got it? Don't hurt yourself. You want to go to, uh, oh, uniforms, uniforms, fire suits. Oh my God, this is heavy.